Welcome back to Pinoy Diaries. Today, we have an intriguing and untold story for you. In this video, we'll be diving into the fascinating world of the Holoshos family and their ownership of two of the Philippines' most prominent entertainment entities, Eat Bulaga and Tape Incorporated. Get ready as we uncover the hidden truths behind this captivating tale. To truly understand the Halo Show's rise to power in the entertainment industry, we must first journey back to the beginnings of Eat Bulaga, a show that has captured the hearts of millions for decades. But did you know that behind the scenes there lies a captivating story of ambition, determination, and controversy? The birth of Eat Bulaga. Eat Bulaga first aired in 1979 and quickly became a hit with its unique mix of games, variety segments, and talent competitions. The show was the brainchild of a group of young and ambitious individuals, including Senator Tito Soto, Vic Soto, and Joey DeLeon. However, in the late 80s, something happened that would forever change the course of Eat Bulaga's history. The Jalosios Connection Enter Romeo Halosios, a prominent political figure and businessman who had an uncanny ability to spot opportunities. He recognized the immense popularity and profitability of Eat Bulaga and saw it as a potential investment. Through his connections and financial prowess, he acquired a significant stake in Tape Incorporated, the production company behind the show. With his newfound influence, Romeo Halosios not only became a silent partner, but also started influencing the show's content and direction. This move was met with both admiration and skepticism. The controversy unveiled the Halosho's family's ownership of Eat Bulaga and Tape Incorporated, raised eyebrows and led to numerous controversies. Critics argued that this close association between a political figure and a popular TV show compromised the show's integrity and impartiality. They alleged that certain segments were used to further political agendas and promote certain candidates during elections. The controversy surrounding the Halosho's family's ownership of Eat Bulaga and Tape Incorporated cast a shadow over the show's legacy. However, it also brought to light the complex web of politics and media influence. The Legacy and Lessons Learned Despite the controversies, Eat Bulaga continued to thrive, winning the hearts of millions of viewers worldwide. Over the years, the show has introduced countless talented performers, launched successful careers, and contributed to the country's entertainment industry. However, it's important to mention that in recent years, the landscape of Eat Bulaga has undergone significant changes. The departure of the iconic trio, Tito Soto, Vic Soto, and Joey DeLeon, also known as TVJ, marked the end of an era. Their contributions to the show's success cannot be understated. With their departure, the future of Eat Bulaga remains uncertain. The show continues to go on, with a new generation of hosts stepping up to the challenge of carrying on its legacy. Only time will tell what lies ahead for this beloved program. As we conclude this video, let us reflect on the impact of Eat Bulaga, the controversies it has faced, and the resilience it has shown. It has brought joy, laughter, and inspiration to millions of viewers for decades. And regardless of what the future holds, it will forever hold a special place in the hearts of its loyal fans. This untold story of the Halosho's family and their ownership of Eat Bulaga and Tape Incorporated reminds us that the entertainment industry, like any other, is not immune to the complexities of power and politics. Nevertheless, it also shows us the impact a beloved show can have on people's lives. Remember, if you enjoyed this video and want to uncover more intriguing stories, hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell. Thank you for watching.